All right, so we are at CTF Photons with a brand new aiming laser and IR illumination. White light system, and this is an awesome thing. I want to start out with that. This unit is priced at, what is it again? $849 is the base price with no heads. If you want the head options, which is comes with the Key G 3 degree and the Malakoff E1H2, which is a 400 lumen white light. These uh, MSRP at $1649, which is an exceptional deal. Uh, it's $849 MSRP just for the Kiji itself, so we're pairing these for $800 for the two heads. Um, user price or price point is very uh, consumer friendly on it. So I will say I have paid $1,800 for lasers that I don't really like. So this is the way. <laughs> right on. CTF3 unit. Here's the CTF2. That's the uh, original unit that we started with. Gotcha. We uh, purchased the IP about six months ago, went through an engineering cycle, made some changes to the unit. First off, it's no longer a 3D printed body anymore. We oh, now nice. have a uh, machined and Cerakoted anodized options available. Both in the uh, both coatings are IR non-reflective, so we actually spent a long time on the coatings to perfect that, make sure we could get something that's yeah. robust, durable, and also IR non-reflective. Uh, the beauty of this, though, is it's just a complete mission configurable unit. You can run full IR illumination on it. You can run IR white light. A unit that I like to run is key G 10 degree and key G 3 degree. So that's nice. I'll run the 10 degree diffuse for wide uh, room illumination, mm -hmm. flood illumination from that aspect. And then my key G 3 degree, I'll run it with the diffuser off so I can get out, make those long range engagements. And it's super quick. Um, best part about this too, I know you're familiar with a lot of other units that are out there. There's not a whole lot of modes on this. It's user super user friendly. There's three buttons. The left button is going to be left illuminator plus center overbore laser. The uh, center button is going to be your center overbore laser, which you can see right there, which is awesome to have because you're not making up for any offsets. I was center just going to say center overbore. If you delete everything else, that's nice. There's no more um, uh, parallel zero or intersecting at 300 with all the different options we go. Exactly. That is sweet. We took this out to Thunder Ranch. We got a 25 yard zero on it. We took it all the way out to 500 yards. We were getting consistent hits. That's we, awesome. Uh, we were shooting shooting with uh, some guys that were using some balls out there too. Mm -hmm. And it was hanging in with them performance wise, hands down. It was, uh, it, it exceeded our expectations on it, honestly. Um, it's That's incredible awesome. performance what we get out of it. Um, but yeah, it's totally user customizable. Uh, so, whatever your application wow. or mission is, you know, customize your lights to uh, what illumination source you need for. So in, in, in essence, you always have your IR laser and then your Viz laser, correct? So no Viz laser, no Viz laser. Okay. in the three. We're working on the three Pro, which that's possibly something that we're going to be coming out with okay. in the near future. So uh, you just kind of sight in with nods on, basically. And you're yeah, you, you, so a couple ways you can sight in. You can do a converging zero, which you know you're familiar with that. Mm -hmm. Put your nods down, look through your uh, red dot, right, and just make your adjustments. That, that's how you usually do. Exactly. Or you could just do like what we did at Thunder Ranch, which, which was just a 25 yard zero on it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that worked out really well for us. Okay. And center over bore is nice because we don't have to make up for any okay. uh, so windage. Got center over bore, IR laser. And then you could potentially put IR in one side, white light in the other. Correct. And delete everything else, switches, white, uh, other white light and everything off your rifle. Correct. <sighs> and it saves about four ounces. Oh. If you look at units that have a laser aiming module plus a white light, you're about four inches or uh, four ounces saving on it. So it's, this uh, is cool. It's nice. Everything's fully integrated in it. It's uh, totally it's also, customizable. If I can pick this up, it's yeah, also it. it looks like it's low enough where, yeah, it's barely in your side picture. Is this a, uh, a co-witness or a lower third? Uh, lower third on that. Okay. And so you can, what you can do is you can run backup irons behind it, which is totally awesome. Oh. So, so you still have the center over bore backup irons yeah, this behind is it. Not in my way at all. Right on. That's really nice. This is. This is the key. Yeah. This, this looks like it is the key. I don't know if this is the right way or not. We're uh, we're really excited with it. You know, we're we're pretty much brand new. Um, we are working on just producing the best quality that we can. We have a full engineering team that went through, did a bunch of testing on it. Yeah. We took it out, did a bunch of applications testing on it. We didn't want to release this to market until we were 100% certain that it was going to deliver and exceed uh, our customers' expectations. And I think we delivered that. Um, it is. I. Like, I would say that your switch is a total replacement for a tape switch. I don't feel like, oh, it works. Some of them are so tall. It feels like, yeah, it works, but it's still kind of high. 
This is better than a tape switch. Yeah. Simpler than it, no wires, no additional light on the side. I often run into where I'm trying to find the mount that gets my, my white light on the side as close to my aiming laser as possible. Yep, yep. That, but I usually end up sticking out too far. This just deletes every problem I've ever had, and I run weird guns. For sure. I run super weird guns, not just ARs, so. And I mean, we're going to make it so this is gonna be switch compatible at some point. That's kind of the next generation, yeah, next just, release. Just so it's there. It's gonna be there, but like you said, my preference, I don't run switches, is another potential risk for- For this, uh, I won't. What's that? For this, I don't even think I'd find myself reaching for a switch unless I'm running a really strange gun that you can't get a good spot for it or something. Exactly. You don't need it. And what's nice having three buttons, it's not like a, another unit where you have to switch over to different modes. And I know I'm mm -hmm. working at nighttime, right? So it's it's hard to see what you're doing. This is just super easy to so get over to your buttons. This is just your selector, right? Select yeah. that side and go. Select this side and go. Exactly. But, so it, it always has your laser and then it just a matter of which one's going with it. Correct, exactly. Laser's gotcha. always on, and the uh, laser has a momentary single press, double press constant on. Got double it. press constant on is really helpful when you're, uh, you're getting a converging zero with yeah. your optic, so. So then, um, the heads, I don't know if we touched on it, these are threaded for Surefire heads? Exactly. Threads? So any three volt, 300 series heads are compatible with this. Uh, so that gives you a ton of options. You can run, if you wanted to, two white lights, you could run two IR lights, you could run an IR plus white light, and then you got the white lights. Uh, beam profiles, right? So you might want something that has super long throw. You can put that on there. Double white light. You're right. So yeah, I mean, double barrel can, flashlight, that'd be sweet. You can basically customize your illumination. So it's any application, any mission, you're gonna be able to have the right illumination for it. This is really cool. And you guys are based in Oregon, right? Based out of White City, Oregon. We do nice. all in-house manufacturing. So it's a, it's a quality product. That is, this is one of the coolest things. I am so excited about this guy. We're uh, we're super excited too. We just released uh, released it for shipping about two weeks ago. So oh, this is new. The new. first units are just getting to their customers. We've gotten a little bit of feedback so far. Everybody loves Everyone's it. Everyone's loving it. Yep. They, this, uh, this is gonna explode. I soon, think so. As soon as yeah. I roll in with one of these, everyone's gonna be like, "Hey, what you got there? I think Where'd so. Where'd you get that from?" <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. And it goes. And yeah, we're working on doing some cool other uh, cool other products in the are future. You? So do you want to talk? Don't want to go into a ton of details uh, on that's that. Fine. Yet, but uh, off we, video. We uh, <laughs> yeah, off video, right? We we do have uh, we do have a really awesome engineering team that's working on this, and they specialize in uh, laser products. So that's cool. We uh, we're lucky to have the resources and. We're, we're working together to uh, to build an awesome product line. It's so, so. cool, because like, the modularity is just key. That's what a lot of other stuff is missing. Exactly, and I mean, you can configure it. Like, this configuration's great. So I have a vampire on here, so you can do flood IR illumination, or you mm -hmm. can go to white light. Then you have the key G, which can be long range illumination. So, you know, it's, it's basically, uh, you know, whatever, whatever the mission is, there's gonna be an option and configuration out there for it. I love it. Right on. Awesome. <laughs> I absolutely love really it. Really appreciate so, hey, it. I appreciate the run. That's yeah, awesome. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks Good for deal. the time. I'll pass yeah. one back by later. Awesome. Right on. Yeah.